The Dark Room Balls Paradox, a paradox proposed back in the 18th century by theoretical physicist and philosopher Dr. Samuel M. Morris. If you wake up early in the morning and it's still dark out, you can't see anything. And if you can't see anything, you can't turn your light or lamp on to see anything. Sure, you could fumble around in the dark, feeling for the switch like most of us, uh, maybe you remember from muscle memory, but by 25, studies show any sort of unnecessary effort required by us is sucked out of us because our hopes and dreams are usually crushed by then, and mental health care has a paywall in modern Western culture. These feelings of low effort are intensified in the morning or before a coffee, illustrated by this equation that Sam's wife came up with when he kept talking really loudly in the morning. Aptly named the Dark Room Balls Paradox because the paradox revolves around a dark room that can never be lit unless light already. Uh, for example, the sun. And the word balls because it sounded really funny to suffix at the end. Now this paradox was posed back in 1774 before electricity was invented. However, that didn't stop Sam from theorizing a voice activation method when he wasn't cheating on his wife. This would turn on a light with your voice, thus eliminating the need for a physical activation of a light switch and breaking the paradox. However, this was back in the 18th century. Keep in mind, color wasn't even invented back then. And if you attempted anything like this, you'd be burned for witchcraft. Nowadays, I did it in like 15 minutes. I looked at some code on Google, hooked up an Arduino and uh, ran poo. Okay, voice activation is simple. Microsoft has libraries that will take input from your microphone, process the data, and give you back what you said. I know there's like no technical explanation there because there really is none. Just Google C Sharp voice activation, copy this code and it just works. It lets you build your own sentences, play around with word choices, and it even recognizes asshole and butthole as the same word. Guess how I figured that one out? That's what the lamp uses. It's very simple. If it detects the word Ranpoo, it will tell the Arduino to activate the relay and turn the lamp on. Uh, just don't touch the exposed wiring or you will die. Now this solves the darkroom balls paradox, but it got me thinking a little more about just how useful voice activation really is. And isn't. I lose the TV remote so often that I just want to hit things violently. Televisions work by having the remote send an IR or infrared signal from the remote to the TV, which means the range is limited. If it's obscured or whatever, it doesn't work. And if you lose it, well, in scientific terms, you're fucked. If we voice activate the remote, we have literally none of these problems. Just change some of the code, attach the TV remote buttons to more relays, and assure anyone who sees it that it won't explode. Now we can just duct tape that sucker to the back, and you can take your old crappy TV remote and just flush it down the toilet. Home. Left. Right. Stupid piece of crap. My favorite part is that if you say, turn this shit off, turns it off. Really revolutionary feature, especially for anyone who likes to watch anything political or maybe still watches cable for some reason. Is that a fucking power outage? Okay, Sam, that's cool and all, but I'm a gamer. I like to game, but I play so many games, I gave myself carpal tunnel. Don't worry, I hear ya and I smell ya. This program I wrote binds words or sentences to keyboard inputs, so even the filthiest of degenerates can still play their hearts content out. So now if I say something like a uh, walk forward, he will start walking forward, and then maybe we wanna jump after that. And then when he lands from the jump, we could say something like uh, stop moving, and then he will stop moving, uh, which is good because he does what I say, which not a lot of my programs do. It's very versatile, very flexible, and yields some amazing results after some getting used to. Hey guys, I'm playing with my mic today, so sorry if I'm like stealing all the kills or anything. What? I'm playing with my mic today. Okay. Forward. Stop. Crouch. Long. Forwards. Shut up. You shut up. He's playing with his mic. This man's carrying. Stop. Forwards. Stop. Forwards. Burst. 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 I had him, man. Okay, that was all fun and games, but I know what you're thinking. I've seen my analytics. Sam, I'm an American. There's only three things I need after a hard day's work. Guns, beer, and racism. And while I can't voice activate racism or beer, I can voice activate guns. Filthy Frank, anime hunter. Filthy Frank, anime hunter. Filthy Frank, anime There's a servo hot glued to a wire, which will then rotate back and pull back on the trigger. 
I am not responsible for what you do with this information. Die! Die, motherfucker! Fuck yeah! Oh shit! Okay, so the neighbors called the cops for some reason, so let's put the gun away for now. Sam, I'm depressed. I need to streamline my alcoholism. Look, I hear you. How many times you get home from a hard day's work to try to pour your vodka into your 16 ounce water bottle in an obscure brown bag, but the alcohol you drank on the drive home from work is still hitting you like a truck and you can't pour because all your motor functions are slowly decaying along with your brain tissue. We can all relate. I know I can. Well, no longer is that an issue because we voice activated alcoholism. I hate my life. Oh, stop, 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 stop. I hate my life. I hate my life. Mmm. Mmm. Beats pouring. Stop, 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 stop. The voice detection isn't all that accurate. You can see sometimes it just randomly goes. Although, stop, 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 stop. Fuck you. Piece of crap. Stop, stop, stop. With our sleek and compact design, AKA a windshield washer pump wired to an Arduino, you'll be saying, I hate my life. A little less. I'm wearing a suit, so you know what I'm saying is important. We spoke to one of our beta testers, and this is what he had to say. Sir, how do you feel about your hands-free alcoholism? insightful. And the best part about all this is that there's a child safety lock built in. If it detects your voice is too high pitched, it will assume you're a child and deny serving you. Although let's be honest, if you're using this and you have a child, they should probably be taken away. All right, I've made my life a lot more convenient, but I wanna make your guys' life a lot more convenient too. So I asked you guys, what are some things that you wanna see voice activated? A rock. I don't think you understood the question. Blue, you need help. Alexa, it's already voice, you know what, Never mind. My penis, grow, grow, grow. A girlfriend, exist, exist. Toaster. Just in case you weren't keeping count, this is the second toaster I bought for the channel. I couldn't find anything to put on the end of the motor to stop it from like looping over. So I just found a Google pop socket. So I guess, I guess this is sponsored by Google. Not actually, they probably think I'm a massive degenerate. God damn it, Bobby, you're breaking the pop socket on the end of my motor. There's a motor with a rope glued to it that goes up to the handle of the toaster. Uh, and there's a Google pop socket on the end and it will rotate and wind up and pull the handle down. Notice it's very similar to the scooter I built because good parts are expensive. Toast. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, take two, take two. Toast. Okay, take four. That didn't... Okay, t attempt number... I don't, I don't even remember the attempt. Attempt number... I don't remember two. Attempt number... I don't remember... Toast. A computer mouse. Up, up. Up, 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 click. Down, 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 click. Yeah, it works pretty well. A gun that fires only if you yell bang. 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 The entirety of Minecraft. Punch, punch.
In all honesty, what I've learned from this whole voice activation thing is that it's actually very useful for uh, germ prevention, carpal tunnel, a kid is a lot safer and less likely to burn or hurt himself using voice activation, but that's all really serious and deep. I just like the fact that I can say balls and it'll make toast. If you want the source code or if you want to see more of uh, this, uh, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. There will be links on screen. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.